How do you empower your customers to use your OptiPlanner application? If it runs on your machine on localhost, they can't use it. You need to host it somewhere. Why not host it in the cloud? Let me show you how to deploy it as a pod on OpenShift, the open source container platform built on Kubernetes. OptiPlanner comes with an assorted set of quick start demos. On OptiPlanner.org, you can find these by clicking on the link to the OptiPlanner quick start GitHub repository. In this repository, if you scroll down, you, will, you will find an overview over all quick starts. There's a number of use case quick starts and there's a number of technology quick starts, as you can see. If you scroll down, you will see, uh, for example, the school timetabling quick start, where we need to assign lessons to rooms and time slots. You will see, a, if you scroll down further, you will see a screenshot of the facility location problem, where we need to decide where to open new stores, etc. Maintenance scheduling to assign maintenance jobs to crews call centers to who will pick up which phone, vaccination scheduling to assign uh, vaccination schedule appointments uh, to locations and so forth, order picking to decide which route to take uh, through a store to pick up all of the items, and of course the vehicle routing problem to assign the uh, in which order which vehicle goes to which location. So if we click on this particular link here, you can see we have the vehicle routing problem here, and notice how the directory of this quick start is use cases vehicle routing and we'll need that in a second. So now let's try to run this quick start where you can see the screenshot here on OpenShift so we can share it with other people. First you need an OpenShift instance. To get one for free go to openshift.com and click on the try it button. Then choose developer sandbox where you get a free 30-day OpenShift instance. Let's start your trial then log in then get started in the sandbox, launch it and start it. Go to your developer sandbox. This is the OpenShift web console. There's an administrator view and a developer view. In the developer view, in the topology screen, I can see all of my deployments, none so far. So let's add one. When I click on the add button, I can import one from a GitHub repository. So let's use this and I'll use the GitHub repository as my source of truth. Uh, for now, I'm just going to use the OptiPlanner uh, quick start URL, but I could of course use my fork instead, right? So if I just fork that repository, make some changes, I can actually see the effect of those changes and deploy them on OpenShift too. Um, now I'm going to, in the show advanced GitHub options, I'm going to spe specify which of the quick starts I want to run. So in here, there's a context directory. And as I uh, explained before, the vehicle routing one is in the in the context directory use cases vehicle routing. But I could choose any of these other examples to run those on OpenShift. But let's do the vehicle routing one. So I'm going to write here use cases vehicle routing and let's deploy that. Here we go. And you can see right now it's being uh, built. So um, this is the deployment and you can see here on the bottom left that the build is pending, right? Now the build is running. And if you wait a bit longer, you'll see that once it's ready, we can click on the open URL button and try it out. This might take a few minutes. The build is ready. It's green, as you can see. So let's open the application. Here's the vehicle routing application where we need to deliver a number of items to these blue circles across the city. And we need to do that with vehicles coming from these two depots. So let's click the solve button and OptiPlanner will try to find the optimal solution to do this for us. You can see here, there's uh, this is the distance it takes currently with the solution it's currently proposing. And as we give it more and more time, it actually reduces the distance to find a shorter and shorter path. Now, the beautiful thing about this uh, URL is that it's no longer running on local host. Uh, let me click to stop the solving here for a second. It's actually now running uh, on, oh, it hosted on OpenShift. So we can actually give that URL to somebody else and they can try it out themselves. Let's add a few more deployments. I deploy three more quick starts, the call center quick start, the maintenance scheduling quick start, and the school time tabling quick starts. You can see I now have four deployments, each one pod, and they're all running happily on OpenShift. So let me open the maintenance scheduling one here. You can see it's running and uh, it's, assign it's about assigning uh, maintenance jobs to crews and to wh wh when they should do those jobs. So I'll just click the solve button and you can see that uh, OptiPlanner starts optimizing this 
taking into account all of the constraints and so forth. And again, this is on a URL I can share with uh, others. If you want to learn more about this, just go to optoplanet.org. Thanks for listening.